Hey, my YouTube family. It's your girl, Nikki Proverbs 31. And I'm coming on because this will be my last video. Yeah. Well, my last video being pregnant, that is. <laughs> uh -huh, I, did. I psyched you guys out. So, um, actually, a lot's been going on. I didn't get a chance to update last week. I really wanted to, but I was really tired last week and having a lot to do and trying to get the last, um, you know, the last things in order, I guess you want to say. And just every day, time will go by and, and I just didn't have a chance to do it. So here I am today. I am 37 weeks and uh, tomorrow morning, we are supposed to report to the hospital at 6 a.m. And uh, we should be having our little girl approximately around 8, prayerfully, if we don't get bumped. They don't want me to eat anything after 12 a.m. So my parents, actually my mom and my stepdad, who I call my dad, and my one of my sisters and one of my brothers, um, my youngest sister and my younger brother, youngest brother, came up with my my mom and my dad, and uh, my mom brought me some soul food, yay! So me and Nia, we're going to have our last meal, and what a great meal is that, greens and macaroni and cheese, and I hope it's some yams, I didn't even really look, but she bought me two platters of food, so we're going to get our grub on later. Um... Okay, so let's rewind what happened last week. Last week, really unevent uneventful, besides the fact of, you know, just the symptoms, just being very, very uncomfortable. It's really hard for me to get in a good position to go to sleep. Once I get in one position, then it's, I need to turn, so I just go from to the left, to the right, to the front, to the front, to the back. No, I'm just kidding. But no, I can like go to the left, then I turn to the right, then I sit up, then I lay back down. Um as far as cravings, only thing I've been only thing I've been craving is some sweets as usual. Um but I've been trying to, you know, be careful with that. Last week I don't know if I came on. I last week I had gained two pounds and she had gained ten ounces, so that was great. This past week, a well, week before last, yeah, we last week um, they did not um, measure her as far as her weight, and I lost a half a pound. So I was like, cool beans, because I thought I gained like four pounds because we've been eating out for the most part. I haven't been cooking. Um, because our refrigerator is like extremely small here. Um, so it's not a lot of ingredients you can keep in a refrigerator. And quite frankly, I really didn't feel like doing a lot of cooking anyway. Uh, I bought some bottles. Let me show you real quick. I bought two different types of bottles. Here I am. <laughs> um, I bought these. It's a breast flow um, from the first years. And then my one of my girlfriends, she uh, predom predominantly breastfeeds. She told me to get these. And they're Tommy Tippies. Yeah, Tommy Tippies. And they both are supposed to simulate breastfeeding. So that's why we got them. Or I got them. Or whatever. Um. <laughs> I almost fail, y'all. That would have been a hot mess. Okay, so what else? Okay, so Monday we went in for the NST. Last Wednesday we went through everything. Um, I asked her how much I was measuring. She just said, you measuring big. So you know that's big when they just tell you you measuring big. And um, what else? So much, you guys. I can't believe, can you believe it? Can you believe it? I'm telling you, look at God. Tomorrow, we're going to have our baby. This time last year, we were coming off of a, um, a FET that didn't work. 
and just getting a SCG, HCG, or whatever it's called, a test. Tell me my tube was open, but they were like, they didn't know if I can have a baby or not, blah, 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 blah. And then January of 2010, they told me to just have a hysterectomy and look into surrogacy. So if God can do it for me, surely I know he'll do it for you. So don't, don't ever give up. I'm serious. Um, I want to thank everyone who has um, followed me throughout my entire journey from the beginning um, I look back on some of those videos, I was like, ooh, really? Um, but yeah, from my first video of introduction until now, you know, the highs, the lows, um, a, lo a lot of you are still waiting for your BFPs, and I am rooting you guys on. I'm sorry if, that I have not been on to really watch a lot of videos, and um, I'm going to do my best to try to keep up with everybody. But please charge it to my head and not my heart if I can't be on as much as I have been in the past. Because I got to get used to having an infant. And um, so, yeah, so, uh, I, I'm so excited for a lot of you ladies. And um, and still standing in the gap in prayer for those who are still believing God for your big BFP. Um like I said, don't give up. The only way you know 100% that you will never have your uh, baby is if you give up. Other than that, all things are possible with God. I'm a living testimony. So, oh, by the way, speaking of testimony, this past Sunday, he, um, we went to church. I didn't go the, the week before. We were being heathens. Pardon me. Y'all know me and my water. So we went to church, and you know, before service, I was praying and asking God for his will to be done. Make a long story short, I saw the first lady at our church. We were talking, and I told her, I said, I don't know if you remember, but we had a service, and you called up people to give testimonies, and the Lord had put in my heart to say, go up there and say, I, you are delivered from infertility. And I went up there, and I had just got the bad report that I should have a, a hysterectomy. And I said it anyway, and I felt stupid afterwards because, you know, I was like, I just got the bad report. So how am I going to say I'm delivered from infertility? I haven't gotten pregnant. But here I am, pregnant, and about to have this baby on Wednesday. So she was like, praise God. How come you didn't tell me? I'm like, yeah, like, I run into you all the time. But anywho, so praise and worship was just wonderful. And um, for those who don't know who, what praise and worship is, that's when the beginning of the service, you know, we play worship music and praise music to, you know, just get enter in the presence of God, just glorify and magnify God and worship him and, get, and you know, just be in his splendid presence. You know, it's just a wonderful time. But then she was like, where is my girl at? Come up here. So she called my husband and I up there. We gave our testimony in front of hundreds and hundreds of people, maybe at least a thousand or two. And then they prayed over Nia, uh, the congregation and the first lady. And then she had us pray for couples who were believing God for uh, to have children. And then she said for us to say this, such as I have, I give to you. And that's what I said to, the, to both of the women and I touched their wombs. And so I'm going to say it to you all. Such as I have, I give to you. And I pray that you have more, more than what I have. You know, if you want twins or want four kids, you know, five, a whole tribe, you want a whole um, <laughs> basketball team, whatever you want. Whatever the Lord is willing to bless you with, I pray that you are blessed beyond your measure. Blessed beyond measure. Blessed beyond your wildest dreams so that was pretty awesome and then after uh, during service this woman kept come up to us and says i've never done this before but the lord told me to do this and she blessed us with 40 dollars. i was like praise god and so afterwards we went to get something to eat and then um we the lord put placed on our heart to be a blessing to somebody at the restaurant and pay for their food so we had a wonderful sunday and um, today I had my last prenatal or maternal, whatever you want to call it, massage 
which is awesome. I believe every pregnant woman can do it. But here's a couple of things I want to say. My doctor did um, do a prescription for a breast pump. And I found out my insurance company does pay for it. So I will submit to you if you're pregnant um, that you ask your doctor to fill out a prescription and you contact your your um, insurance company. You'll be surprised what they cover. So we got a $289 breast pump for free. Thank you, Jesus. So um, that and it was something else. But I can't think of it. But that's the main thing. You know, you always want to look into what you can get. You know, it's free, it's free. Uh, we, my husband wants me to go to bed at 8. It's not going to happen. I'm going to be up probably all night, still trying to clean up and get things in order. So when we come back home, things are clean. Let me show you my belly real quick. Hold on. No, we not. We just did. <laughs> so, had to make sure I do that. And it was something else I wanted to tell you guys. But I can't really think. But I just want to say, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope your Christmas was full of blessings. Um, and I just look forward to 2011. Remember, delayed but not denied. And remember, I changed it to, I will not be denied. I may have been delayed, but I will not be denied. So, claim it. Start claiming it. Claim it. Claim it. Speak to your womb. Speak life into your womb. And uh, as always, if you have questions, there's a few of you who have posted questions, and I will get back to you. Even one asked me about the blogging thing, and I'm down with it. I'm just sorry. I just haven't responded. Uh, yeah, I'll... Hopefully, be able to post something in the next couple of days, maybe, if I have some time. Um, if not, when I get home and get settled, then we'll do a video. And I'll introduce you to the princess, Miss Nia. So, I'm really, I'm getting more excited. At first, I'm like, hmm. But as the time goes by, I'm getting more excited. I think I've taught you guys ears off long enough. And, uh. Again, thank you again for just follow me through this journey. Thank you for those who went before me and have um, been encouraging uh, system for me and my sisters who I speak to often. You all know who you are. I appreciate you and I love you guys much. And I will talk to you soon. Smooches!